Welcome, folks. I'm Chabby Kawai, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? We're going to look at Spider-Man No Way Home Easter Eggs from Sony Pictures Entertainment. It's only 30 seconds long. I have no idea what's entailed in this, but it could be interesting. So I thought we could uh, take a look at it together. Somehow I feel it's not going to be as detailed as a new Rockstar video. Probably not. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. Power of the sun in the palm of my hand. This dialogue is a reference to the Spider-Man 2 film. The power of the sun. We knew that. In the palm of my hand. Well, some MJ people did it. Strange a secret to the perfect goatee in the workshop basement. That feels that weird. That cracked me up. It. Feast is the homeless shelter May worked at in the comics and later in the wildly popular Spider-Man video game. This image of Peter in the strange cape is similar to the zombie hunter Spider-Man in the cape from Marvel's What If. <laughs> why? Why the palm face? I mean, yeah, that, that, that's totally for people who've never seen a, a breakdown video on YouTube before, because this is like super obvious. <laughs> Obvioso. Yes. The Harry Potter spell. Yes, that one. Yeah. That's not a Harry Potter spell, I think. Oh, uh, I made that up. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, you got to put out something. I mean, they, they, you know, Netflix does the same thing, because they saw they saw the like the hype with reaction videos, and they're like, we can do that. That's our shit. <laughs> we'll hire people. We'll hire YouTubers to do reaction videos on our channel to draw even more attention to Netflix. Like, might as well make the most of it. Yeah. You know? Uh, and so I guess... Yeah. yeah. It's the same difference. Oh, if people like these breakdown videos of Easter eggs and whatnot. We can just give them a few. There was um, instances in here where it's like, you could go deeper, but you didn't on purpose. I know. You I'm know, just like... like ugh. Come on, it felt like it felt like you weren't even trying. Like you just put this together in five minutes. I mean, well, maybe, what they're maybe not doing five is, minutes, but no, what they did was they confirmed certain Easter eggs, right? But that's what that video was doing, was confirming this is this was indeed a deliberate Easter egg. But it wasn't giving you any detailed analysis like the way Rock, new Rockstars does, because they mentioned Feast, and I'm like, okay. Are you gonna mention Miles Morales? Because you didn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Miles, the, the the most that we got of Miles Morales mentioned was when um, Electro was like, "Oh, I thought you know Spider-Man was black." Yeah. Maybe there's a black Spider-Man out there somewhere. Like that was it. That was the Miles Morales mention. And here they're going feast, and they don't even bother to bring him up here. I'm like, okay. Do better, Sony. You know what? Good for Marvel. Good for Sony for uh, trying to take advantage of the the Easter egg phenomenon that is on YouTube now. You know, like new rock stars and and uh, Cosmic Wonder and everybody, uh, uh, everything always. They're all making money off these, you know, Easter eggs and whatnot. Why not us, says Sony, why not us? Yeah, well, if you're gonna do that, why not do like a an Easter egg that's gonna blow our goddamn minds? Because they can't. Why not? Th that would give away their, their trade secrets. That would give away what's ahead. They can't actually dive in to things that haven't already been expressed very overtly in pre in previous installments. Those previous installments being Spider-Man 2, uh, What If, okay, and whatever, fine. whatever. Um, like, it has to be stuff that's obvious because they're saving up, like, everything has to be, like, inferred or hinted at until it's actually showing itself in a movie. That's why this is like an... I know, but it almost feels like if I was a blind child doing an Easter egg hunt, I would have found all those Easter eggs. I understand. I'm not, I mean, <laughs> I get where Sony's coming from. They want to keep the attention, the excitement alive on Spider-Man and their IP. Yes. They want you to have reasons to dive in and buy the 4K UHD. I'm totally buying the 4K Blu-ray. But, but you know what yeah. I mean? Like, they're, they're trying to give you more incentives to keep participating in their IPs. But they can't it. give it, you anything new. It's marketing. I yeah. understand. I understand, but also I'm not going to hide my disappointment okay. in this video. What did you want them to say? <laughs> I don't know. I wanted it to be like 30 seconds, but like give me one tidbit that no one has spoken about yet, which is virtually impossible because you know the internet is like going through this movie with a fine tooth comb and they have sif sifted out all the good bits. <laughs> you know, they've, they found all the good bits, every single teeth. Right. Nugget that's as small as a grain of sand has been found. Right. I wanted them to like show me something that was like microscopic that no one had seen yet. All right. And and be like, wow, Sony, you just blew my mind. But you know, it's like going on a date with someone and they just no banter. You know what I mean? I've had that. Sucks, right? Uh, yeah, it was a free meal for them. <laughs> Sucks for you, huh? <laughs> You're like, ah, 
so disappointed, but I'm here now. I get why Sony did it. I'm not mad at it. I, I mean, before I even hit the play button, I kind of knew, I mean, it's 30 seconds long. What can I possibly expect from this video? They just want to capitalize on the trend that is the Easter eggs. Everyone wants a little bit more, and so they, they knew. The amazing thing to me is when we went to watch Spider-Man No Way Home, and there were people I could hear screaming, I didn't know he was gonna be in this movie. I'm like, You had no idea. You had no idea. And then I have to remember, not everybody's like us watching that's everything true. on the internet. That's, that's true. That's watching true. all of these like new rock stars videos and whatnot. Most people aren't doing that. Gotta even, stop being judgy. Even when you see a video that has like four million views, there's a lot of people in the world. So four million views isn't like everything, right? That's why you still have people who are surprised and might have when they see this, they're like, oh my God, Easter eggs, that's a thing? It's hard to believe, but yeah, there are people out there who have never seen anything like this before. And so for them, it's like blowing their socks off. Sure. And sure. their shorts. Sure, all right. Which have no way of coming home. <laughs> wow, okay. Good job, Sony. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you're so you're so disappointed. Listen, I'm just practicing how to be an Asian mother. What would have been great is if like some of these Easter eggs, I, like, I don't know, like if there was a way they, like you're saying, they could have given us a way that it's hooked, it's it's tied into, I guess they kind of do it with the, they did the most obvious ones. They did, they, 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 they should, really did. Like yeah. if I could catch the goatee thing, Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not the most observant person in the room. Right. I caught that. When I when I watched the movie, <laughs> right, it, it would have been cool if they gave us stuff that was a little bit more um, obscure, stuff that's more obs obscure, yeah, less obvious, yeah. Now, where that that hasn't been like covered to death already in other stuff, that is tied into IP that already exists because they can't give us anything that is new that is on the horizon because like they want to surprise us and whatnot. There's a reason they kept the whole thing with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield under wraps until release. Like, they had to do that, yeah. Um, and so there's nothing. Surprises is one of the biggest, it's one of the biggest weapons when it comes to marketing. It's like when you kind of have a hint of something. People ask us all the time on, on the on the Indian side, like, what are you releasing next? What are you putting out next? I'm like, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling anybody. You'll find out when it drops because I'd like to surprise the audience. If I tell you in advance, then it's there's criticism on that. And there's all this like deducing stuff from something that hasn't even happened yet. It's like, but it's more exciting to put something out and people didn't, didn't know it was coming. This is the best you could possibly get, really. I love how, like, we watched this video and then you come around to, this is the best we could get. Yeah, I don't feel like you can get much, I mean, surely, presumably there's a, a whole Easter egg, like, thing. It's just a hint, right? right? This isn't the whole thing. It's okay, I already bought into it, it's fine. Right, but you you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's a whole, there's a, I, I'm sure it's a whole thing, but even the, um, no disrespect, but even the lady they chose to narrate us through that, I'm like, it's 30 seconds and I'm bored. Uh, yeah, I know. Like, she sounded bored. Yeah. It's like, wow, have you, do you not like Marvel? Do you not like Spider-Man? Could you not have found someone who actually likes this stuff or can pretend that they do? Well, maybe that's what she was told to do. Hey, 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 that's too much excitement. Calm down, Too much excitement. Too much exciting. You know what the voice Emotional over damage. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the voiceover sounded like? It sounded like when you go to the movie theater and it's like pre-trailer time. Pre, pre, pre. They do those like quizzes or whatever or trivia. The commercials before the trailers. Yes. Yeah, they're That's awful. That's what her voice sounded like. She sounded like she's done a bunch of those and that they, they were going to put this out at AMC before the movie started. Well, something. she sounds relatable. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.